Ooh. It's the best sport in the world. The excitement of a fight night, the thrill as they go to battle, and the joy of seeing someone who give it the big and get an absolute pinger straight on the nut. Bosh, good night. You can't beat it. Boxing is life. But sweet child of mine, has it got some bloody flaws? It's the most cutthroat business within sport, which from time to time can ruin its dignity. And this is why. I mean, where do we begin? How about this? First off, the fights we want to see often never get made, or they take absolutely forever. Yes, this is top of the list. AJ vs Fury, Spence vs Crawford, and Tank vs Garcia, just to name a few. I mean, will we ever get to see these fights? We finally got to see Khan vs Brook, but it took oh so long. Whilst this fight was being negotiated, Tyson Fury managed to put on 10 stone, lose 10 stone, and fight this helmet in a fucking trilogy. I mean, sort yourselves out. Now is it the money? Is it the fighters? Or is it the promoters? I suppose it's all of these things. But talking of Fury, AJ vs Fury is the fight we all wanted to see. But several years later, here we are scratching our bollocks still waiting. I mean, surely this fight is not about the money though. I signed the contract today. The fight's got to be for free. Free to our television. Our all tickets go for free. Unless Eddie Hearn can come up with half a billion for the fight. It's not going to happen, is it? I probably want half a billy to come out of retirement. I'm fighting for free in England. Brilliant. Not abroad in a foreign country for more money. Here for free for the people. Ah, see, I told you, nothing to do with the money. This fight falling through must have been Hearn's fault. Pull your finger out your ass, Edward. You heard the man. Just give him 500 million quid and he'll fight Joshua for free. I mean, you can't say fairer than that, can you? Blimey, Fury changes his mind more than a fucking traffic light. But in all seriousness, yes it is predominantly the money, but the greed and power struggle of promoters and fighters is something that will unfortunately never change, stopping us from seeing the mega clashes, which leads me on to the networks, probably the biggest issue in the fights never coming to fruition. Here are the big players, we've got Hearn at DAZN, Warren at BT Sport, Heyman at PBC working alongside Espinosa at Showtime, and Bob Arum at ESPN, just to name a few. Now it's never going to be the case that all fighters will be on the same network, but the strained relationships and egos of these boxing moguls are basically ruining the fans' chances of ever seeing those history-defining fights, and that is just wrong. Leaving you with pay-per-view spectacles such as Ortiz vs Martin. Brilliant. Now take Eddie Hearn for instance, he's a good guy, but Warren and Espinosa would rather hire Hannibal Lecter as a fucking chef than do business with him or DAZN, so we will likely never see fights such as Wilder vs Joshua, or even Wilder vs White, unless they leave Matchroom. But it's not just Edward, Bob Arum and Heyman don't get on either, so Top Rank occasionally struggle to agree fights with PBC. It's mainly because of their $100 million lawsuit, but it's also because of the fact that Bob Arum is generally an absolute knobhead. So what happens most of the time when these big fights don't get made? We get the next best thing, a pointless fight. Which leads me on to the next big issue, cherry picking. In every other sport, the best face off against the best. It's unavoidable. The Football Premier League forces each team to play each club twice throughout the season. In tennis and golf, the players have to face the best in the world and beat them to win their major trophies. Most other sports the same. And then there's boxing. Promoters are able to choose easy opponents for their fighters. They're able to avoid the elite fighters that could disrupt their unbeaten record. And they can find sneaky routes to get their fighters into world title contention allowing them to pick up a belt in a fight that poses no risk. Just to put this into context, this is like Grimsby Town getting to the semi-final of the Champions League against the mighty Real Madrid. Madrid are playing the best football of their life, they're on form and they're better than ever. So the Grimsby manager says, nah, fuck that, we ain't facing them. Let us know who wins the other semi and then if they're shit, we'll face them in the final. Cheers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that just wouldn't wash. These days, an unbeaten record seems to be all that matters for a fighter. So keeping that as long as possible means avoiding the test that we all want to see. And that is just not on. In the old days, their records were mental. They didn't give a monkeys. It was about pride and legacy and determining who really was the best. A loss meant nothing. But delving deep into the records of some of the biggest names in boxing today, you can clearly see the padding. And this leaves us unsure if he or she really is the full package. However, when those cherry-picked opponents actually have themselves the fight of their life 
and they outclass the prodigy, what normally happens? They're robbed from a dodgy decision. Yes, one more problem unresolved in the world of boxing. It's the judges. The free judge formula has been around for decades, but the cracks have been showing for a very long time. Too many deserved winners are being stripped of that life-changing win, because these plonkers should have gone to spec savers. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say I know how to better this system, but with fights like Taylor Catrell causing outrage among fans, it's time that something was done. And now to finish off my rant. The biggest problem with boxing that tops everything we have spoken about today. The biggest issue among the many this great sport has. It's Mr. Floyd Mayweather. And I'll tell you why. It's because... Uh, because... Uh. Oh, it's just because he gets on my fucking nerves. We know you're rich, you great big slaphead. Put your money away, you bell end. Thanks for watching. I'd like to hear your thoughts on what else is wrong with boxing. So caress my tender nipples with your comments below. Like and subscribe. Bosh.